Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about SAP connectors in Power BI, specifically when you're dealing with large data volume. Right? Um, uh, let, let's say you're working with uh, SAP connectors, uh, either um, HANA connector or the BW connector, and you're using import mode. And you run into um, one of these issues that are listed here. Uh, for example, uh, your refresh time is too long when you are uh, refreshing the data set in um, the Power BI service. Right? And sometimes uh, your refresh gets canceled uh, in Power BI service because uh, there is a limit on uh, how many uh, hours your refresh in the service can execute. Or the second one would be each time you refresh uh, your uh, Power BI data set, it takes up a large portion of the SAP resources. This, of course, might lead to other issues, especially if uh, SAP is your transactional system. Right? You, you might run into this issue and then you work with your SAP folks and they update SAP configuration to limit the resources uh, that is allocated to Power BI. And once this is done, you might run into a different issue, like the one, um, uh, one seen in the screenshot below, you run into an uh, error message. This is basically uh, an out of me out of memory error. Um, so you your SAP the allocated memory uh, in SAP is not enough, uh, and you're running into out of memory error. This is again when you're you're trying to bring in a large chunk of volume of data, a large chunk of data from SAP. So how would you go about resolving this? Right? I have a couple of options uh, I, which has worked for me. Uh, the option one is to use functions or Power Query functions. So in this scenario, you would make multiple calls to SAP um, with each call bringing in a small portion of the of data and Power Query stitches this uh, data together to create the complete data set. For example, uh, in the screenshot below, I am uh, uh, screenshot on the screen, I am, I have multiple uh, functions and each function call and each uh, call is for a uh, week. So it is bringing a week of data each time and then it is stitching together the data. Right? And uh, I have a, another video which talks about how you would go about create a function uh, in Power uh, Query and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, so I'll have the link to that video. Go ahead and check it out. It's uh, easy to create this and uh, it's really helpful. The one key thing to note is uh, the underlying the function that you call, uh, which actually makes a connection to the SAP resource. Uh, it has to be in uh, it has to be query folded. Now, uh, to with SAP resources to uh, make sure that it's query folded, what you can do is you can check the top left corner of your Power Query uh, data window, and if you see a cube, that means it's query folded. But if you see a table like this. Uh, it means it is not query folded. So just make sure that the function, that I, in this example, this table function I'm calling, I know that it's query folded, so that's the key. Right. Now let's move to the second option. The next option would be to use data flows. Right. You can use uh, data flows uh, and you can create multiple data flows um, and break it down by uh, by whatever works with your use case. In this scenario, in the screenshot, I have broken it down by year. So I'm getting sales data for each year and I've broken down, in this uh, case, I'm getting data from 2015 to 2020. So each year I'm getting one, each data flow gets one year's worth of data. Now there are a couple of advantages of doing this, right? The first one is by historical data from, that is 2015 to 2019, I need to just get it once from SAP. Right, one refresh, I'm, I'm not say putting it on a scheduled refresh, I just refresh it once, I'm getting all the data and it's there in Power BI to be consumed by my reports. Only the sales data for 2020 is on a scheduled refresh. So uh, that, that reduces the volume of data that you need to bring from SAP. Uh, the option two is uh, you can use the same data flow across multiple reports, right? So if you have five different reports that are accessing sales data, all of them can, uh, the, each of them don't need to call SAP separately or, or be refreshed by calling SAP separately. They can all connect to this data flow, which in turn is 
uh, pulling data from SAP. So there's only one uh, one source, right? So those are the uh, two options that I've come across. And of course, when data flows, you can use the functions that I mentioned, uh, functions option that I mentioned earlier. Um, so you can combine both, right? So these are the two key options that have uh, that has worked for me. Um, let me know what you think in your com in the comments below if you have uh, any other uh, suggestions. Uh, all right, uh, so that's all I have for today. Uh, hope this helps and thanks for watching.